think I overheard the tail end of a conversation earlier, maybe this week, where uh, a caller was coming, calling in and it was completely uh, new information to me that now with the market being as low as it is, uh, is a good time to take those stocks out of qualified money and putting it in non-qualified money. Did I hear that correctly? You did. Um, we were talking about uh, there was a time when the market dropped substantially right after COVID, you know, March and April of 2020. And, you know, for a long time here at the ministry, we've been talking about we believe taxes are going to be higher in the future than what they are now. And there is increased risk of regulation with the government, you know, because they create they created qualified accounts and they control the rules about them and they have changed the rules. And we expect them to uh, probably do that going forward forward. So to be, I believe there's a window of opportunity now with the uh, Trump tax structure that he brought in in 2018 with tax brackets being lower, there's a window of opportunity to get money out of those qualified accounts. And the way that you win in a qualified account is to get the money out at the lowest tax rate, because when you put money in, you're not uh, getting out of paying taxes, you're just deferring or postponing those taxes to some point in the future. And if you believe that taxes are going to be higher in the future than what they are now, it's a good time to do it. So what happens um, if you're not going to spend the money that you're taking out of your IRA, maybe you're just going to move it to an investment account. And you can do that in kind. So you can actually transfer shares, uh, depending on where you hold your accounts, you can transfer shares of stocks or ETFs or mutual funds or even bonds that you own from your IRA account into uh, your investment account. Now, the way that that's taxed is you pay tax on the value of whatever the shares were on the day that they transfer. So back in 2020, we had uh, several uh, energy stocks and some other stocks that were down, you know, 30, 40, 50, maybe even 60%. So if you have some positions like that, that are really taking a beating right now, and it's going to be something that, you know, that you, that you plan to keep or maybe pass on, you can move those shares out. So if you have a, a, a thousand dollar position let's say in a stock and it's now worth five hundred dollars and you move those shares out to a non-qualified account will you pay tax on the value that it is when you move it so on a thousand dollar position you're only paying taxes on five hundred dollars worth of value and then what happens is that the shares are able to appreciate and recover outside the IRA, because you just have to remember that anything that you grow inside your IRA, you're not only growing for you, but you're growing for your uncle too, your uncle Sam. So that's a great way to, you know, to do that. If you already have a strategy where you're moving money out, it's a, it's a good time to do it when things are down.